Hey guys, Nova Explosion, and welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel. It's been a minute since I've recorded. I'm just gonna take a look at my equipment and ordnance and make sure everything's all in order. Alright, so we got Seal and HP1 on Reen, Heat Wave and Soul Blur, Frost Edge and Tear on Alisa. Perfect. Uh, Elliot has, has Earth Lance, EP1, and Breath, which that's AoE, right? Yeah. He has areas in the area with Purifying Breath. Perfect. And Laura, just attack one, Forte, and Shield two. If I remember correctly, the last thing we did was we did all of the uh, tasks, the uh, field study tasks for the first day of Helding. So I think um, I think we're just heading back to the inn, I guess, to rest or talk to Sarah. I'm not really sure. Whew, guess that does it for all the mandatory tasks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pooped. I hate that word, but whatever. Same, I don't venture out onto the highways very often. The two, the two of you seem okay, though. Well, my hometown is in the countryside, too, so I'm kind of used to this. And with all the training Laura does, I imagine this is probably nothing for her. Indeed, I find this level of exercise quite manageable. However... What is it? No, I'm sure it's nothing. I believe we should return to the inn, should we not? Yeah, let's. I'm guessing Instructor Sarah is still there. We can give her our report and also ask a bit more about the purpose behind these field studies. That would definitely be good to know. She hasn't told us anything about what's happening tomorrow either. Alright then, let's head to the inn. Is Sarah still there, drinking beer? Don't give crap. The one paid. What? Why was the text so small for that one dialogue box? What's going on? It sounds like something's happening over there at the market. Hmm, there appears to be some matter of dispute occurring. I wonder what's up. Should we go take a look? Yeah, let's go and see. I guess we're gonna have to come back to the inn. Sorry, Sarah. Don't give me that crap. This is my spot. I paid for it, so it's mine. Finders keepers, <laughs> that's the rule. I'm the one who paid for this spot. Look, I even got the permit. Stop lying to me and... Vamoose. Vamoose? I do not know what that word means. Uh, may I ask what the problem is? Perhaps we can help in some way. There seems to be some question over which of these two gentlemen gets control of this area to set up the stall. The young merchant over there is local, while that merchant wearing the suit is from the capital. So, they're both claiming the same spot? Huh, how odd. Permits for the market are issued by province's ruling lord. Oh, so for Keldic that would be... Oh, this, this just got serious. This isn't good. We must stop them. Who are you? Uh, unhand me at once. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but violence isn't gonna solve anything. You both need to calm yourselves. You've been worked into a rage. What are you, high schoolers? This has nothing to do with you meddling kids. We're having a mature discussion here, and I thank you not to interfere. Since when has grabbing a person by the neck been considered mature? Good point by Elliot. If you truly int intend to have a ma mature discussion, perhaps you should try acting more like adults. What did you say to me? We're students from Thor's Military Academy. We're currently visiting this town a field study. And while we are not yet formal members of the army, I'm afraid we cannot simply walk by and ignore a fight in such a public place. A military academy? Oh, so there are a bunch of soldiers in training. What in Idios' name is happening here? Oh, now look what you've done. Manager Otto. I've been filled in on what happened. I understand both of you have a permit for the same stall, is that correct? Yeah. And both permits expire at the same time too. What's the meaning of this? I understand your concerns, but fighting over it here is greatly inconveniencing the other customers. I'll be happy to discuss the matter in private, but I'll need you to ask I'll need to ask both of you to put your differences aside until it's been resolved. Okay. I guess. Oh, that was a close one. Seems like everybody's going to be fine now. Everything's going to be fine now, though. Yeah, I guess he's the guy in charge. I really appreciate the four of you stepping in to help defuse the situation. Though I suppose I just expect no less from the infamous Class 7 I've heard so much about. Oh? How do you know about Class 7? My name is Otto. I'm the manager of Celtic's Grand Market. 
I have some things to discuss with you. If you'd be so kind to come along, I'll treat you to some tea. I love tea. There better be snacks there and pastries. I can only have tea with my pastries and snacks. So, you were responsible for choosing our assignments? Indeed, Principal Van Dyck is an old friend of mine, you see. He asked me personally to select a few tasks that you might be able to complete. Well, that was nice of him. We appreciate your consideration as well. Oh, it was no trouble at all. Likewise, I'm grateful to you for taking some troublesome tasks off my hand. And I can't thank you enough for your help at the market. If you hadn't been there, I imagine someone would have wound up getting hurt. I'm just glad we got there when we did. So both merchants will be taking turns using the same stall at the front of the market. That's right, both of their permits are genuine, but their merchandise and temperaments don't lend themselves to a sharing of space. Eventually, they agreed to a compromise where they would make use of the front stall in alternate weeks. The other stall we reserved is near the back of the market, however, so whoever's relegated there will likely see you far lower sales numbers. That's better than nothing, I guess, but still really unfortunate. I must admit, I do find this whole matter rather perplexing. To my knowledge, issuing of market permits is the sole responsibility of each province's ruling lord. For a mistake such as this to have been made in the first place raises some unpleasant questions. That's true. It's the lord's duty to control the flow of goods. If he can't handle it, the local economy could really suffer. Quite right. Ordinarily, the responsibility would fall upon the Duke's household. The Duke? Cruisin Province is ruled by Duke Alborea? That's Husus's father, I think? One of the four power most powerful nobles in the entire country. But lately, the situation surrounding the Duke's household has been getting a bit complicated. Complicated? A few months ago, he increased the sales tax for our market rather than significantly. And with a large percentage of their profits being taken from them, the merchants have begun to get rather desperate. Fights like the one you saw earlier are becoming more and more commonplace. I see. Sales tax, is, sales tax is something which should not be raised without careful consideration. History has shown us how damaging such actions can be. Huh, I never heard anything like that happening in the capital. Have you tried raising objections to the increase? Of course, I've even gone to Berea hard numerous times to petition the Duke personally. They always just drive me away at the gate without listening to a word I have to say. This has been going on for roughly two months now. If that's the case, the mix-up with the permits may be more than just an accident. Are you suggesting... They might be getting careless when dealing with the market, or maybe they're deliberately trying to cause problems. I don't think it's a good idea to jump to conclusions, but I will say that before all this began, the soldiers in the guardhouse absolutely would have been interviewed in a scuffle like that. Oh? Unlike the Imperial Army, a provincial army's main priority is maintaining the status quo throughout their territory. So mediating arguments which threaten that status quo should absolutely fall within the scope of their duties. Correct. It seems that unless we accept this ta tax increase, they intend to turn a blind eye to the market. The commanding officer at the guardhouse has even made comments suggesting as much. That's not right at all. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking about matters like this with you. This is strictly an internal affair to be dealt with among us merchants. You have no reason to concern yourselves with it. You need to be focused on your field study. And I'll have a new list of tasks for you tomorrow morning as well. You will. So you were asked to prefer, prepare some for us each day then. That's right, I've got a few difficult ones in mind too, but I'm sure you're up for them. I love difficult tasks. Or at least I hope you are. Don't worry, we are. We'll do our very best to meet your expectations. Yo, let's get it. That was a lot of text to read. I have to drink. Alright. So now we head back to the inn. Would make more sense. That all sounds really unfair. Yeah, I agree. Provincial lords have the duty and the right to decide upon and collect tax in the regions they control. And as long as that remains the case, that's not really much the general pop populace can do to stand against them. 
I'm reluctant, to, I'm reluctant to comment on how others choose to rule their own territories. But harassing one's people like this seems clearly inappropriate. I've heard many rumors about the current head of House Alborea. Uh, the current head is Husus's dad, right? So, couldn't we ask Husus for help here? I doubt there's anything he could do. Among nobility, decisions made by the head of the house are absolute. Since the Albureas represent one of the four great houses, that old tradition is absolutely guaranteed to be alive and well. The Emperor himself is probably the only one with more power than the heads of the four great houses. Guess that's a no then. See so you're all busy mulling over things like this? Excellent, excellent. Of course it's Sarah. Instructor Sarah, what brings you here? I figured it was about time for me to get going. Group B's not getting anything done as expected, so I'm off to help sort them out. Why am I not surprised? What? You're going to see Group B now? The town of Parm is a considerable distance from here. Now, now, let me worry about that. You four are perfectly capable of looking after yourselves anyway, right? Put your heads together and think. I'm certain you'll see what you need to do. All right, goodbye, Sarah. ADUS be with you. I'll be looking forward to your report. Yo, now's our chance. We can just go have some actual fun. I can't believe it. It's as though she knows exactly what's going on. Even though she spent the whole day drinking at the inn. Can she read minds or something? I'd suggest... I said... Oh my goodness, words. I'd suggest we return to our room and rest for the night, in any case. We still have our reports to write, so an early dinner seems wise. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm so tired. Me too. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep at the dinner table without even making it to my bed. We gotta eat. Food is very important. Mark some NPCs. Maybe they say different stuff. Oh, how disappointing. My fun shopping adventures were cut short because of that commotion. Cool. Staying the night for one once might not be a bad idea. Is there an inn nearby, perhaps? Yeah, there's the Weathercock Inn right here. That commotion prevented me from being able to buy dinner. Now I need to make my way to the market later. Feels like these sorts of things are happening more and more recently. delicious those were some seriously fresh vegetables too yeah nothing beats food made from local ingredients i quite enjoyed the rye bread myself i suppose this whole field study thing isn't so bad when you take the menu into account i wonder what the others in group b are doing right now somehow i doubt they're sitting around a table and talking like we are that would certainly be a shock if they were can't help but question what exactly Class 7's purpose is, though. Instructor Sarah says it's about Arcus, but I don't think that's the only reason we've been brought together. It's fate. All in it. I'm certain it's not. If that were all, today's field study tasks would serve little purpose. It seems as though she's trying to make us experience... I don't know. Things. Like, all kinds of things, big and small. Wait a minute, didn't we establish this when Reen said that, um, they were trying- Sarah was trying to make us experience the world building and all that, and, like, doing these tasks to get a better sense of the area? I could be mistaken. What I can't wrap my head around, though, is why. Yeah. Instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust that comes along. 
What do we have to offer one another, when our reasons for enrolling at Thor's in the first place are undoubtedly very different? Our... reasons? I hadn't considered that. My reason for enrolling was quite simple. I aim to come ever closer to my goal. Or, rather, to the person whom I regard as such. Who is that? <laughs> this is neither the time nor the place to discuss such matters. Best to save that topic for another day. I think this is a perfect time to talk about this, but you know. What about you, Elisa? Why did you enroll at the Academy? Hmm. There's no one single reason, but I think I just wanted to assert my independence. That's a classic answer, but not a bad one. I can understand that. I mean, my situation back at home isn't exactly ideal, and this seemed like a good way to get out and do more, I guess. Yo, I am... That's a really good extension of her answer. I see. Hmm. It sounds like I'm probably in the minority then. See, I wasn't intending on coming here at all originally. I wanted to do something completely different. You did? Oh yeah. You said you were really hoping you'd get into a music academy, right? Oh? <laughs> well, I wasn't that serious about it or anything. What about you, Reen? You're the last holdout, and since you're the one who brought it up, it's only fair you answer the question, too. Me? I wanted to find myself, I guess. Find yourself? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. That makes it sound like a much bigger deal than it actually is. That's the best way I can think of to put it, though. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Going on a journey of self-discovery? Also a solid answer, even if a little classic. It's actually a pretty cool answer. Yeah, I had no idea you were such a romanticist. You sure don't come across as one. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. 